I wanted to take a minute to talk about this hollow tile technology from the D23 Expo. I got a chance firsthand to sit here and try it out myself. That's me with the controller moving around that Luke Skywalker uh, figure across the thing. The audio is really horrible there. That's one of the reasons why I'm doing a voiceover right now. The, um, the controller is just like a regular game stick and their software basically figures out how to do everything. The little device itself is, what those discs are is there's two pieces to it. There's one that controls what, what it like spins around and there's always a top part that's at the surface uh, and then there's the actual surface itself spinning which creates a, the, the entire movement. It's quite ingenious but probably one of the more impressive things is just how precise this thing is and how strong it is. Uh, we're going to show in a minute here what it looks like on the floor over there. Uh, that's the device itself right there and you can see that it's got basically two spline gears on it and like I said the bottom one causes the top surface to spin and the one that's right there causes the direction of the surface to switch around. And by switching the direction of the surface around, that causes it to uh, change the direction that it can make something go. It's a very strong and a very solid piece of plastic, so I can understand why it's able to hold up heavy materials like an entire person. So here we're seeing a demo where this gentleman is using, this Imagineer, is using a Xbox controller or a PlayStation controller. He will spin himself around, move himself forwards and backwards. Obviously, he's got to keep himself in control so he doesn't go off the edge. But um, now we're going to see a demo where two of them are walking on there at the same time. There's In the corners, there's these little LiDAR sensors that are picking up their actual feet and when they move their feet. So it's tracking them and compensating for them so that they will not change location. As they walk around, the computer will automatically spin the disks around. Over here on the left, you can see the sections, the hexagon sections of the entire floor up there. It's broken up into pieces, so as they walk around, it figures out which hexagon section it needs to manipulate. And you can see their feet according to the LiDAR, where they are and what they're doing. And uh, there's, a tr there's like a vector on there that shows what direction it needs to roll the wheels and how fast it needs to roll the wheels. It's really, really responsive and fast. I was really impressed with how good this actually worked. Uh, let's see, the next demo is going to be where they're going to take those boxes that are in the background and they're just going to let them move around like, a, like an old-fashioned screensaver where they're not going, where they're not going to run into each other. Um, they did not let us go up there, obviously, but it was just it was just really impressive to see this technology firsthand. I've seen it on the Disney blog or some people talking about it, but getting a chance to touch and feel with it and play with the controller was just amazing. Um, so what they're going to do is they're going to walk off here in a second, and I know that they're just kind of standing there right now. And they actually used the Xbox controller to pick over on the screen what uh, mode it's going to be in. That's the little red box you see in the middle of the screen there. And so here they are, they're going to lay these boxes out on the the, uh, the area there. And you can see that the AI, whatever, has already picked up the boxes. And you can see the boxes are bumping into each other right now. Um, I think because they're in the same section uh, of a hexagon. So now they're just going to basically spin around and go between them. And you see how he kicked it and it jumped right back in? Uh, it's kind of like the Boston robot dynamics, Boston dynamics robot getting kicked. At any rate, this is just kind of a really cool first-hand demo at the Imaginary Pavilion at the D23. So I just wanted to share this with everybody because I just thought this is, this, I can't wait to see what they're going to do with this. They didn't have anything at the time that they were presenting uh, of a practical application of it, but uh, they're obviously feeling pretty proud about it right now to show it off at the Imaginary Pavilion at D23. 2024. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.